E aí pessoal, aqui quem fala é o Sonietan E no vídeo de hoje eu vou jogar aí Tales from the Borderlands Jogo gratuito desse mês de novembro aí Da segunda leva que já está disponível né? O primeiro episódio ele já era gratuito há muito tempo Então agora já recebemos aí o do 2 em diante Então eu vou jogar aqui o episódio 2 Porque o 1 eu já tinha pego ele, já tinha feito ele completo então eu vou mostrar aí a partir do episódio 2 então, bora lá yes yes it's been a while everyone knows ah, where was I ah yes two unlikely versions of one impossible story the Hyperion salary man who stumbled across the perfect plan to defeat his rival But bad things can happen when you swim Hijacking the secret purchase of the ultimate prize, a vault key. Finding co-conspirators was easy. Finding real vault keys never is. Then there's the Pandoran Hustler, who conspired to sell a fake vault key. But unfortunately, plans don't often go, you know, as planned. The emergency plane was used. And now, they were stuck with each other. With nothing to gamble, but their lives. So, they prepared to face psychos, warlords, even vault hunters. For betrayal, no one is prepared for betrayal. She tried to stop him, Felix, but it was too late. The money was gone, but the path to a vault key was right under their feet. Below the arena, they found the Gortis project, Atlas's crown jewel, along with a lost king, looking to regain his throne. Oh, I'm, I'm up. Hey, I'm up. seriously, can you use your words? <sighs> You're just wasting bullets with that thing. Mm, yeah, okay. Ah, oh, come on, you drooled on me. Huh? Oh, yeah, that's a. Wow, that's a lot. I am feeling a little dehydrated. <laughs> what is wrong with you? There. Now we're even. You are a monster. Stop! I'm gonna let you out of those restraints. Don't make me regret it, because you'll regret it much more. Mm -hmm. Sure, yeah, okay. Yeah, we, that works for me. Let's do that. We've got a long way to go. We should move before the sun's up. Uh, can I please hit him once? Just to get it out of my system. You gotta work on your anger management. All this animosity is not good for- Just one. What? <coughs> okay, I'm good. Uh, you punched me in the neck. Let's go. Now where were we? Well... What is it? I... Uh... Reese! Buddy? You, uh... You alright? Your friend's wigging out. Reese is just excited! He's alright. He... You know, just probably needs some air. So, uh, upstairs, where there's more air, because it's higher, and... Hey, what's up with that map? Come 
Computer, enhance! Please stop, Sasha. Come on, I've almost got it. That's not... that doesn't do anything, what you're doing. Enhance computer images! Stop it! This is not how computers work! Where are you from? You, you don't just yell enhance at the screen! Maybe I can bring up a legend on this thing. Ah! I'm okay. Did you break it? Go ahead, Fiona. Uh, pick it up. Hey, Fee, trust me. You don't want to touch that. I don't understand. You and Reese are the only ones that didn't shock. Maybe they're somehow imprinted on you. Vintage Atlas. Uh, incredible! Retinal scanner online. Security protocol engaged. Retinal scan required. Please step forward and identify yourself. Uh, maybe we should get out while we have the chance. We're not leaving until we know exactly where it's telling us to go. Step forward and identify yourself. The retinal scan failed. Employee not recognized. Alerting General Pollux. Oh, craps. That's probably not... Wait. You hear that? Nope, I don't hear anything. Ignore it. I don't know. The computer said it was gonna contact some general. You know, two plus two. Okay, yeah, that's exactly what I thought I was gonna see. Well, now all we have to do is get his eye to that retinal scanner. Oh, well, maybe we can just scoot him over to the computer. in there pretty tight. Now what? Well, it's a retina scanner, right? We don't actually need all of him for that. Look at his uniform. Atlas military, high ranking at that. How much he got? Not that much. Now you'd think a general would have more walking around money on him. If you try to rip it out with your bare hand, you'll just end up squishing it. Uh, if you have a better idea... Any other idea would be a better idea! His eyes are pretty creepy. You're basically doing him a favor. I'm not sure he would agree. Oh, 
hey, it's a spoon and a fork. Ha! <laughs> How about that? Oh, wait, that's not... Yep. The eye's gotta come out one way or another. Okay, this is... Okay. Yeah, yeah, you, you gotta do it. I, I gotta do it. I gotta do it, so I just... Just shove that into his face. Why do you have to say it like that? I'm just saying. Did you just do it already? Okay. Mm. Why did that just happen? Oh, man. You split the eye right in half. All the juice from the thing. Ugh. Why are you describing it to me? I know. I did it. Right. Sorry. Look, all I'm saying is, you got one more shot. Right, because he's got two eyes. One eye, now. You've got a knack for numbers, don't you? I'll just wait over there. Here we go. Right, so far so good. Stop talking to me. Ooh, I can't tell if that's looking better or looking worse. It's looking way worse. Trust me. If you're gonna puke, do it on the floor, please. This is me helping. Ooh, ugh, you almost, you almost got it. Just cut the thing. Holding it to the, the thing. I got it! I got it! I got it! I got it! I don't got it. Vaughn! It's getting all dusty! It's just a peeled grape. It's just a peeled grape. Let's just get this thing over to the scanner. mining town. It's been abandoned for years. Which makes it the perfect place to hide a Gordis project. Whatever that is. Message to General Pollock's memorandum. If you're watching this, then I'm already in suspended animation. You must understand, Athena was trying to kill me, and what I possess is far too powerful to end up in the arsenal of a ruthless mercenary. If Athena is no longer a threat, please activate the revival protocol in my stasis dock. My life and quite possibly the fate of the universe is in your hands. Oh no. Does that mean he was... Oh, when you scooped... Oh! No way. No. No, he had to be dead when we... <sighs> Don't. Just... Don't. So, I guess we're going to Old Haven. Reese, you want to take a look at the... <clears throat> oh, ouch. I'm fine. What's the matter with you? I'm fine. Be right down. Oh! Wait, what? I didn't hit my head. What are you talking about? I saw you hit that girder. No, 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 no. I, I, I hit my head on that, but I didn't hit my head when I fell into the computers. And obviously there wasn't a geyser of blood. There was quite a bit of blood. This is all fascinating, very thorough. But what about Jack? Oh, right. 
Jack. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the Gordis Project. And it's gonna lead us to a vault. And then I'll probably kill you. <laughs> what? Okay. Here's what's gonna happen. You, uh... I'm sorry. Uh, what's your name again? Come on. Spit it out, dum-dum. I don't have all day. I... Oh, good. <laughs> you work for me. I thought... I thought I was gonna have to get violent there for a second. Or more violent. Come on! Time's a waste. Turrets, no automated defenses. <laughs> it's like Atlas is just begging us to take it. Come on, Cupcake, what's the holdup? Get over here! Yeah, I know, I'm your hero, you're my biggest fan, blah, 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 welcome to the club. Just try to sweat yourself, kid. You might short something, definitely. All right, take notes, kiddo, I'm not one to repeat myself. Jack, how, how are you doing this? Are you, are you, are you broadcasting from somewhere? Uh, I'm broadcasting from two feet in front of you, close enough to notice that you're not doing what I told you. You're getting a lot of talky-talky, and not enough of the noty no Taking notes! Let's fix that! What? No, 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 no! Why did that just happen? Mom. Oh, shut up! Are you screaming because you're in pain, or are you just freaking out because this is really weird? It, it is... it is weird. <laughs> nice try, but it's not... it's not happening. This is... this doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Stand still, damn it! Stop doing that! Handsome Jack died. Down on Pandora. I mean, here on Pandora. No, 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 no. That's impossible. I, I can't die. St no, no, no. That's st stupid. No way. Oof. Never had to tell someone they died before, so... Uh, sorry? That must suck. Uh, he heroes don't die. <laughs> uh, especially not... Before the story gets to the good part, this doesn't make any sense. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm handsome, Jack. <laughs> I don't die. Hey, there's too much left to do. I'm not, not having it. Not happening. Hey, come here, cupcake. Just let me try to rip your throat out one more time. Just one more time. Come here. What? No, no. Ah, uh, you see, I think I just gotta be quicker about it. That's what it is. Jack, you're dead. Deal with it. Killing people, that's how I deal with things. Come on, just 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 let it happen. <laughs> You're so stupid. Watch your head do it. What's the matter with you? Oh! Reese! So much pain? Why am I still conscious? I don't understand. Reese, hey, you alright? What the hell are you doing? You're acting... strange. I... I know that sounds weird, but... I just... I just saw Handsome Jack. What are you saying? Handsome Jack, he was... he was next to me. Right! Okay, well you had quite a spill there. Let's just get you up off this thing. Here you go. You know, these fumes can't possibly be helping. out of it. I'm seeing stars. Shooting stars. Moonshots. Moonshots. Really? Moonshots? We need to get out of here!
I'll file a complaint with HR when we get back. But we have to not die right now! We used up our boost getting out of there! How long till it recharges? A few minutes, at least. Give me the wheel. What? Why? Uh, I'm not hearing a good reason. I can dodge the moonshots. That's impossible! Not if I know where they're gonna land. Then what? We'll go to Hollow Point. They can't track us there. You better know what you're doing. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Just keep us alive until that thing is full and then we can boost out of here. Got it? Yeah, I got it. I got it. I don't got it! E aí pessoal, aqui quem fala é o Sonietan, e no vídeo de hoje eu vou jogar aí Tales from the Borderlands, jogo gratuito desse mês de novembro aí, da segunda leva que já está disponível, né? O primeiro episódio, ele já era gratuito há muito tempo, então agora já recebemos aí o estudo 2 em diante, então eu vou jogar aqui o episódio 2, porque o 1 eu já tinha pego ele, já tinha feito ele completo, então eu vou mostrar aí a partir do episódio 2, então, bora lá. Yes, yes, it's been a while. Everyone knows. Ah, where was I? Ah, yes. Two unlikely versions of one impossible story. The Hyperion salaryman, who stumbled across the perfect plan to defeat his rival. But bad things can happen when you swim against fate. Hijacking the secret purchase of the ultimate prize, a vault key. Finding co-conspirators was easy. Finding real vault keys never is. Then there's the Pandoran Hustler, who conspired to sell a fake vault key. But unfortunately, plans don't often go, you know, as planned. The emergency plan was used. And now, they were stuck with each other, with nothing to gamble but their lives. So, they prepared to face psychos, warlords, even vault hunters. For betrayal, no one is prepared for betrayal. She tried to stop him, Felix, but it was too late. The money was gone, but the path to a vault key was right under their feet. Below the arena, they found the Gortis Project, Atlas's crown jewel, along with a lost king, looking to regain his throne. E aí pessoal, aqui quem fala é o Sonietan, e no vídeo de hoje eu vou jogar aí Tales from the Borderlands, jogo gratuito desse mês de novembro aí, da segunda leva que já está disponível, né? O primeiro episódio, ele já era gratuito há muito tempo, então agora já recebemos aí o estudo 2 em diante, então eu vou jogar aqui o episódio 2, porque o 1 eu já tinha pego ele, já tinha feito ele completo, então eu vou mostrar aí a partir do episódio 2. E aí pessoal, aqui quem fala é o Sonietan, e no vídeo de hoje eu vou jogar aí Tales from the Borderlands, jogo gratuito desse mês de novembro aí, da segunda leva que já está disponível, né? O primeiro episódio, ele já era gratuito há muito tempo, então agora já recebemos aí o estudo 2 em diante, então eu vou jogar aqui o episódio 2, porque o 1 eu já tinha pego ele, já tinha feito ele completo. Então eu vou mostrar aí a partir do episódio 2. Então bora lá. Yes, yes, it's been a while. Everyone knows. Ah, where was I? Ah, yes. Two unlikely versions of one impossible story. The Hyperion salaryman who stumbled across the perfect plan to defeat his rival. But bad things can happen when you swim against fate. Hijacking the secret purchase of the ultimate prize, 
a vault key. Finding co-conspirators was easy. Finding real vault keys never is. Then there's the Pandoran Hustler, who conspired to sell a fake vault key. But unfortunately, plans don't often go, you know, as planned. The emergency plan was used. And now, they were stuck with each other, with nothing to gamble but their lives. So, they prepared to face psychos, warlords, even vault hunters. For betrayal. No one is prepared for betrayal. She tried to stop him, Felix, but it was too late. The money was gone, but the path to a vault key was right under their feet. Below the arena, they found the Gortis project. Atlas's crown jewel, along with a lost king, looking to regain his throne. I'm up. Hey! I'm up. Seriously, can you use your words? <sighs> You're just wasting bullets with that thing. Mm, yeah, okay. Ah, oh, come on, you drooled on me! Huh? Oh, yeah, that's a. Wow, that's a lot. I am feeling a little dehydrated. <laughs> God, what is wrong with you? There. Now we're even. You are a monster! Stop! I'm gonna let you out of those restraints. Mixing it up with Hyperion. Teaming up with grifters? Come on, these are the types of stories we'll tell our children when we're millionaires. We just survived moonshots from Hyperion, huh? Friggin' moonshots, man! I am not afraid anymore! You hear me, Hyperion? I am Vaughn, and I am not afraid! Yeah, what the hell was that? Relax, it's a vet. Oh, okay. I have to pee. And not because I was scared. I, I had to go anyway. This is perfect timing. Freeze, you're alive. <sighs> Thank God you guys are okay. I thought that was it for a second there. So, thanks for the warning. Trust me, I tried. I did. Tell her to send some supplies! Yeah, don't talk to me while you're peeing. Thank you. Sorry! Almost done! Anyway, I got them to stop shooting, but I can't keep Vasquez from wanting to take you guys out. I'm doing what I can, but it's chaos up here. Vaughn is requesting supplies. Oh, and we're stranded out here in the desert. Look, I'm able to track you, so stay safe for now. I'll send what I can. Cool. Hopefully she can help us out. We can't be walking through the desert too long. I mean, not without water go through all this and die of dehydration would be pretty lame. Uh, fun? Did you get stung by bees? What? Why? What's happening? Cause you're looking all swole. Huh? Swollen. Sw uh, sw I, swole is short for swollen. You are weirdly buff, dude. That's what I'm... I put an exercise bike in my office a few months ago. Don't worry about it. Right. He is pretty young. <laughs> I gotta say, I'm a little envious of the definition he's got going. You're saving the world. It doesn't leave you much time for the gym. Where, uh... Where did you go? Well, that's what I've been quietly contemplating. As I take in the desert air and... I wonder what kind of training regimen your friend is on. Reese, who are you talking to? So he definitely can't see me, right? Hey, so... Remember earlier when uh, I said I could... See Handsome Jack? Sure, right after you fell off the ledge. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Well, it's true. 
Uh, he's standing right next to you. Right. Right. So, handsome... <laughs> handsome Jack is standing next to me. Yes. And I can't see him, but you're able to see him and also talk to him. Correct. He definitely thinks you're crazy. <laughs> I'm not crazy. <laughs> okay. Ask him how many fingers I'm holding up. Oh, I don't know. He's scratching his ass and, uh... Oh! God, I think he may have pissed on his shirt. That's not yeah, clean. How many? Three. Three. You're holding up three fingers. Lucky... Yes. You know it's not. Come on. We should get out of the sun. I... I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, join, join the, the club. club. Jinx. Let's go. I can't tell if I'm crazy or you're crazy. Yeah, I don't know what state of being uh, I'm in right now, but, uh... Well, walking still sucks. the odds what does he mean yeah what do you mean well, I mean of all the people in the universe handsome Jack could be appearing to it just happens to be the guy who's totally obsessed with him <laughs> I mean, it's crazy it's like destiny uh, what so should I be creeped out right now cuz I'm feeling a little creeped out oh I guess I'm just lucky handsome Jack has Always been an inspiration. All right, take it down a couple of notches, kiddo. I'm really digging how you're looking at me right now. I guess he must be. You got all those handsome Jack posters in your office, dude. I think that's a little weird. That makes two of us. Yeah, those are motivational posters. You know, like the cat, hang it. They're Hyperion issued. Well, maybe it has something to do with the Nakayama drive. Namiyaka. What, why does that sound familiar? No, I did shove a bunch of data, you know, <laughs> straight into my head. Ah, uh, Nakayama, right. The weirdo that was obsessed with me. The other weirdo that was obsessed with me. Oh, man. Hyperion would kill to get their hands on this. This? You! Your head or body or whatever Jack is in. Yeah, they would, wouldn't they? Whatever version of Jack you've got in there... We can't take Jack back to Hyperion. What? No, 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 no. You need to get me back to Helios. Yeah, you're probably right. No, no, you are definitely wrong. This is torture. That's that's what it is. I'm in hell. This is what hell is. <laughs> it's about time. That's got to be Yvette. Hopefully she included some water. Uh-oh! Incoming! <laughs> it's coming right for us. Hey, I guess that tracker's working, huh, boys? It's coming right <laughs> for us! Go, the Papa! Suck. Fancy meeting you two here. Here I was, out for a nice drive. How did you find us, Hugo? Ho ho ho! <laughs> You're Hyperion property, Reese. Hyperion doesn't lose track of its property. Look, I know we had a deal. And uh, while well, I don't like to go back, I'm... Hey, I... that's right, we did have a deal! You convinced me to double-cross my best friend, and the day isn't even over before you're double-crossing me? Yeah, funny. I get it. Maybe we should try to take this a little more seriously. You should've known better than to trust a snake like you. 
Don't, don't be like that, little guy. It's just the way of the, uh... Listen, I'm gonna go see if I got a shirt in the trunk, because your body is making me uncomfortable. Hold tight, kids. Look, I told them I would sell you out, but I swear I wasn't gonna do it. I was just saying whatever he wanted to hear just to keep that jerk off our backs. I wasn't gonna follow through with it. Please believe me. He offered me the deal, too. Really? Well, what did you tell him? What's that? There, shovels, genius. You two freaks start digging. I want to see a decent grave going before too long. You heard me. Don't make me tell you again. <laughs> You're gonna pay for this. You'll see. Yeah, because we have friends. Dangerous friends that will hunt you down to the ends of Pandora. Well, that... that, uh, that sounds exhausting. Well, I guess it's a good thing I'll be leaving this ball of hot garbage real soon. What part of Dig don't you understand? Let's get going, Mr. Universe. Okay, just don't shoot. There you go, a little hard work. <laughs> to be fair, that was supposed to hit you. Wait. Uh. Wait! <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh. Damn. Damn that smarts. I think I did that wrong. I you got a tough noggin. Like so easy in the movies, but Amateur hour. You gotta aim for the bridge of the nose, dum dum. How is it every time I show up, you idiots are in a worse situation? <laughs> You're not helping. Uh. All right, fun's over. Looks like we'll be settling for the shallow variety of grave. Reese, you die first, and then he can load your body in the car. I'll bury Vaughn myself. What? Yeah, they want this idiot's body for something up there. Something, uh, important floating around in his head. This is a prototype. The most advanced gun Hyperion has ever made. Someone's overcompensating. <laughs> Any last words before the, how to say, with the inevitable two eat shit? Yeah, there's the spirit. Well, that was three words, and I'll be sure to put eight shit on your tombstone. And I'd be more worried about my tombstone if you knew where the safety was. You're hilarious. I'm gonna miss your. <sighs> Uh, is there a problem? Yeah, I know how to shoot a gun. I just want to get the maximum damage out of this thing. Okay, look, as much as I'd love to watch this idiot kill you two idiots, I can't let that happen. I'm, I'm inside of, I'm not inside you, but I'm like, look, if you go, I go. I've enhanced your Echo Eye, so use it to hack something and get us the hell out of this jam. Figure out how you can pay me back later. I've got you back. Right. Okay, mess this guy up. It's heavy, but it's solid piece of metal. <laughs> oh, to get your subsystem access, that's new. Button on a gun wouldn't even do. Push this in. Push this in, and nothing's happening. doing that. Oh, hello. <laughs> this is an interesting little development. Fine, look, we gotta go. This is my head. Get out. Oh, come on, don't be like that. Go. Oh, oh, you see, you see what you did? did. You did. Reese! Yeah, go ahead and run. 
just making this butter for me? Should we be going to Hollow Point or straight to Old Haven? I mean, they know where we're going. Maybe we should just meet them there. Well, I guess we could just meet them in Old Haven, you know, get a head start, or we could always just go to Hollow Point, though that might be dangerous. Man, this is a big decision. <laughs> it's weird, but I, I always, uh, you know, talk to myself during, you know, Huge choices. We'll meet them at Hollow Point. Then we'll go together. Like a family. Sounds good. To Hollow Point. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. It was just to keep Vasquez off of us. Like I said, I would never betray you, bro. Do you forgive me? Just say yes, because I feel like super bad right now, bro. It's good, bro. Really? Yeah, bro, don't sweat it. We're good. Oh, bro, thanks, bro. No problem, bro, bro. Thanks, bro. Hey. We're bros, bro. Not you. Told you to have him evacuate. That's bro, bro. Bro! For bro, bro, bro. Bro, 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 are you done? Bro, 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 bro. <laughs> Unbelievable! I got one. We should probably let him finish. Fine. I'm curious. Why would you choose to go to Hollow Point? What was there to gain? I'm growing impatient. Hey. I've been to enough Hyperion management workshops to know you never get in the way of worker bees doing the work for you. Yeah, what you do instead is come in at the last minute and ruin everything. We all have our reasons. I suppose yours are good enough. If they were, we wouldn't be here. A man can only take so much. Luckily, you're a safe distance from a man. <laughs> we were stranded in the desert. You had a car. Did you even consider coming to get us? We had our own... One of you will have to change a tire. will be okay? I'm sure they'll figure something out. Probably. I hate to say it, but they're not gonna last the night. Yeah, that's what I kind of thought. Between the exposure, the skags, and the psychos, I'd say they're screwed. They knew what they signed up for.
caravan like this. We couldn't help him if we wanted to. I hope he'll fix it. We're not exactly rolling in cash right now. How are you gonna get him to do it? I mean, I'm assuming it's not exactly a charity. I'll just play it by ear. Duck and weave, go with the flow. Uh-huh. We'll figure it out, don't worry. Stay here. I'll do the talking. Wouldn't have it any other way. Does every mechanic have to be gross? Scooter's a fan of the races. Good to know. That race was insane. Rest in peace, Bossanova. Scooter must have connections at Dalcorp. This looks pretty high-tech. Leaving me out like this. I almost feel sorry for the poor sap. Almost. All right, carry the three to five by twelve. Oh, what the hell, man? I gotta cut down my wrench budget. Oh, oh hey, man! Welcome to Skitter's Catch a Ride. What can we do for you today? <laughs> Uh... Sorry if I seem a little dis distracted. Uh, hopefully handing this place over to the new proprietor today and I gotta get all these numbers and stuff in order. No, it's a lot. I don't know if you know this, but the trend... Oh, this is a really nice looking place you have here, Scooter. Oh, thanks, man. It means a lot. Business has been a little slow so far, you know, being in a hidden cave town and everything, but it'll pick up. <laughs> Hope it picks up, though. Holy crap! I knew I recognized this rig from somewhere. You were in the latest Bossin' Over Death Rally. Oh, I was there, man! Did you see me? I was, I was waving! You were a badass! Oh, <laughs> yep. Got me. That thing's beat up to hell and back, man. I could fix it, but it's probably gonna run you about 2,500 cold. 2,500? Uh, that's a little out of my price range. Not to be implied or nothing, but you must have won a buttload of money from that race, right? Where did it all go? Oh, cause my cousin, right? He said that his sister's friend's neighbor's husband won one of them races one time and the cats kept them fed for weeks. Sure, it probably looked like a lot to some people. But when you live the sort of lifestyle that I do, well, that barely gets you home from the after party. You know, there are some who would view that as boasted and downright wasteful. But I appreciate your gusto for life, man. Well, tell me this. You think you could ever see yourself racing again? Let me pitch you something, and it might be crazy. But if you keep racing, I would love to endorse you as a sponsor. What do you say? It'll be great. Maybe like a billboard, a couple of commercials, product placement. Tell you what. Throw in an extra thousand bucks and you've got yourself a deal. Thousand? Wow, man, that's kind of a hard bargain, don't you think? Call it a signing bonus. Oh, uh, I, I don't know, man. That kind of thing makes me a little uncomfortable. 
Say it once for me, man, you know? The catchphrase? Catch a ride. You know it. Come on. Don't be shy. I'm your sponsor now. Gotta hear how you do the catchphrase. Yeah, no. No, no, not now. No? All right. Well, I guess there's no harm in saving it for the real deal. Ah, uh, would have been cool. I'm thinking that we put a big old ad on your van, you know, like maybe a picture of me with like, catch a ride up above it, you know, all cool, right? I'm looking all badass, you need to put some badass pictures of you with your car and your hat and all that. Hi, Scooter, right? Everything going okay? <laughs> I was, uh, I was just gonna, you know, go grab the paperwork, let me take care of that. Okay, bye. Alright, man, here's my standard endorsement contract. Don't mind the sub clauses about uh, explosions or whatnot. I might have copied it from Torg. Anyway, I figure as long as I'm in there and you're doing it free, maybe you want to splurge and get some of the special packages. I got some good ones. I know it's a big decision. You go ahead and take your time. A lot of good choices, I know, I know. Real classy ones, too. Sometimes I just stand here and stare at him, you know? I know how it is. That one would look badass as hell, man. Take it from me. The badass from hell. Man, to be that is some fine taste, man. Like a treat for yourself and for me getting to do it. Can't wait. Come on in, man. We'll get her all hooked up and get to work. Oh, crap. This doesn't look good. Hey, fellas, what can I do you for? Oh, no. I just hope that little deal you two struck is enough to get him to look the other way. Scooter won't turn us in. You don't know that. We don't even know what the reward is this time. You just gotta have some faith, Sasha. How to teach him. Hope you ladies weren't too scared. Just doing my duty to keep ruffians the crap out of my garage. I'm a real protector type. Thanks. Hi, hey man, it was no big deal. Proper man ain't gotta turn in two nice-seeming ladies. You might be murderers or some crap, but you ain't tried to murder me yet. <laughs> but seriously, please don't try to murder me. Seems like there's some bad men looking for you two, though. You got a place to lay low on getting your ride all fixed up? It's too risky. I think we should stay put. I say we hit the safe house. If Felix hasn't already been there first, it'll have everything we need. Money, gear, new IDs. Yeah. I think we can figure something out. Thanks, Scoot. Anytime. And I really mean that. I'm gonna go get started, okay? We shouldn't hang around here too long. Mm. 
Looks like he had company while he was away. It could have been Felix. Could be. Come on, look around. We gotta be in and out. Yeah. I got the door. It's empty. That's strange. The can's wet, but I don't see any paint. Hmm. Weird. If it's all the same to you, I could do without Felix's classical music right now. He always complained about the reception on this thing. Right. A phonograph is more to his taste. I had to force this on him once his eyesight was starting to go. Yeah, stubborn as always. I couldn't even get him to stop using floppy disks. Who is she? I don't know. They look happy, though. Felix's favorite chair. Those few times he felt he could relax anyways. A comfort directly proportional to its wear. You were always a better shot than me. Man, it used to drive me crazy. That was a long time ago. It's empty. That's strange. The can's wet, but I don't see any paint. Hmm. Weird. Always nice to see an old friend. Felix sure was into science fiction. Great, a flashlight. Maybe if we go camping. It's a black light. It's the one Felix used to check our first counterfeit bills. Oh, it looked familiar. It's hard to believe that asshole would be sentimental enough to keep this in his safe. Not unless he meant for us to find it. Who is she? I don't know. They look happy, though. Sasha, look at this. What the hell? It's ultraviolet paint. I guess he wanted to keep all this a secret. Well, he left this for us to find, so... There's something he wanted us to see. There we go. He left something for us to find. Just like him to make a children's game out of something like this. 
He never could see us as adults. Well, maybe that was the problem. See it right there. Awesome. Uh, if you find another flashlight under there, I'm leaving. Guess. That's what we're searching for, huh? Guess so. Here we go. Better double check the contents. Oh, hello, sexy. You're coming with me. What is it? It's an echo comm. Why is there... If you're seeing this, I suppose I'm either dead or worse. My plan worked. I'm sorry. Fiona, Sasha, there's so much I want to tell you, but the less you know, the better. Oh, give me a break. Halfway through the con, I realized we were messing with Valerie's people. I knew that, and I never revealed it to you two. Well, if you're watching this, it won't be long before she's coming after you. Change your names. Change your appearance. Valerie? Take Do you know you that name? And go. <laughs> forget about the life you had, and forget about me, but know that I love you both. With all my heart. <sighs> I'm sorry. What are you sorry for? You're not the one that left. The one that lied. I'm not gonna listen to another second of his bullshit. I can't believe you let him live. Why did you warn that son of a bitch? Should have let that case explode right in his face. I couldn't let that happen to him. It was always about the money. The second a big score showed up, he betrayed us. We had it. We had it in our hands, Fiona. Ten million dollars. Enough to get off this planet, enough to, to buy a new life. Felix may be gone, but I'm still here for you. I know. First we find that vault. After that, the rest will take care of itself. Well... I hope you're right. You want a sandwich? It might be a while before we eat again. Sure. What is it? It's some sort of an upgrade. Still only holds a single shot, but it looks like it adds an elemental effect to the bullet. A parting gift. Good thing this comes with another shot. I spent the last one I had trying to kill your boyfriend. You better shut up. Uh, 
asshole. He left you something, too. I don't want it. So, you're saying I can have it? I don't care what you do with it, I just know I don't want it. I'll just hold on to it for you, in case you change your mind. I won't. So stubborn. You really gonna turn down the man's going away gift to you? Cold-blooded. <laughs> right. You should be ashamed of yourself. Hands up, both of you. What you making? Just leave now, and no one gets hurt. <laughs> oh, no, man. Are we not intimidating? Because, um, I feel like we are. I thought so, too. But uh, apparently not. Heard me going up. You see me looking at you. Make him shoot through that nice floor. And for what? For nothing. You two got every bounty hunter in Pandora looking for you. And you're making a sandwich? Tie her up. Let's get out of here. Ooh! She's fast. Please. You embarrassing yourself. Go on. Fiona, shoot him! Do it. You're pointing that at a dude who has people shoot him in the chest for fun. I'm usually drunk and charge 40 bucks, but you... <laughs> you alright, man? Oh yeah, Re real good. <laughs> you don't have to be a tough guy about it, it's cool. Go! <laughs> Hey, man. Hey! Go! Oh, I'm counting these bullets. And they coming to me. Uh, 
It's my story. Shut up. Is she still back there? I can't see her. Are you sure? Maybe she's on the rooftops. She must... Ah, look out! Sasha! <laughs> This ends now! You think some stupid Hyperion motorbot is gonna stop? Wait, that doesn't sound right. Motorbots can't do Look, that. Look, were you there? No, you weren't. That's what happened. Go on. Was she bothering you? Yeah, you probably should have asked that before you threw her halfway across town. Oh, man. Did you see the look on her face? Where's Reese and Vaughn? Scooter's Garage. They sent me to get you. Oh, well, that's nice of them. What? It is. Come with me if you want to leave. I told you Hyperion some bitches want back. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I promise. That's our ride. Like hell, man. I know the woman that dropped this van off, and you sure as crap ain't them. Well, okay, not our ride, but... Being a Hyperion was just strike one, man. Now you're lying to me? In my garage? That's like four or five more strikes right there. Are you guys trying to steal our van again? Ha! I knew it! Oh, my God. Can you please explain to this guy that we're friends? No way these girls are associated with no Hyperion D-Bag. These are our partners, Scooter. Thank you. What? Really? Yeah, they've held their own. They just look useless. Well, that really hits the heart. I appreciate that, Fiona. Ah, uh, well, if you say they're with you, I guess I can believe that, man. But if you ladies get into trouble, you just call, right? Or, you know, you don't have to be in trouble to call, man. If you just want to chit-chat, or you find a restaurant you really like, or... Scooter, you are... awesome. This is incredible. You do amazing work. Oh yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Be sure to stop off at any of my catch rides if you need anything. I got them popping up all over Pandora. There are no more bandits. Bandits? Eh, they haven't lived here for years. The Crimson Lance massacred them. Some say their corpses still roam the streets seeking vengeance. Sasha. Not to be a downer, but I'm not seeing any Atlas facility. I'm mostly seeing dry trash. Would it be so hard for just once something to go according to plan? Enough of this standing around crap. Wow, guys. I mean, wow. Just uh, stunning. Picturesque. Vaughn, are you seeing this? Someone get a picture of me with the pile of garbage. No, no, no. The other pile of garbage. Hey, easy there, Mr. Tiny Business Cards. Sorry, sorry. Uh, 
Uh-huh. Let's just find this facility, okay? Don't worry. We'll figure this out. Pretty sure I can figure this out. something. Hey guys, guys, come check this out. It's like the whole grid leads right to here. I mean, with all these power lines everywhere, they've, they've got to be connected to something, right? something hey that sounds good right good sound you keep hacking I'll go check on Loderbot Two. Huh. The ground's different between here and here. My sock, this now it's all. There. 
secret entrance there the whole time? And that must be our facility. Underground hidden doors! Ha! <laughs> Atlas, man. So what's next? Well, clearly we go in. This is incredible. Pristine, preserved Atlas architecture. Yeah, and it's the real classy corporate stuff, not that military garbage you usually see. I'm with you, boys. This looks good. How about we find out if the inside's even better? No, 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 no. We're going in cool right now, okay? Remember? Remember we talked about cool? So cool. So cool. Looks like we're in the right place. Well, that's ominous. This is a massacre. Crimson Lance, these guys are serious badasses. Watch your step. Home place could be booby trapped. If this place is as valuable as we think it is, they might be trying to protect it. Booby traps? Are you serious? This isn't some ancient temple or something, it's just an Atlas facility. A top secret one, that we needed to find a hidden entrance for? Okay, that's a... valid point. This is Athena's handiwork. Starting to think we might have just gotten lucky with her back there. Favorite Hyperion mystery man. Recent Bond new little playmates, right? It's very good to meet the two of you. It's a shame we couldn't be meeting under different circumstances. Bond, Reese, you didn't think I'd have August handling all my dirty work, did you? Oh my god, I am so sick of this. Would you just Screw off already! I bet there are loads of other people on Pandora you could be tormenting. True. But none of them have the Gordis Core. Loaderbot! Arm weapons or something! I'm helping! Uh-uh-uh! Wow. Uh. Come on, guys. You didn't think I'd come all the way down here before grabbing a universal remote, did you? What? The Gordis Project, the two halves of the core, everything leading to a vault. We got it all. Checkmate, amigos. I am shame. What you think, Reese? That you can pilfer something from my toy box, no strings attached? You never could follow through. That's your problem. Come on, Vasquez. Isn't this all beneath you? Coming down to Pandora, working with these guys? Wow, Reese. You know, I... I never looked at it that way before. I don't take advice from janitors. Oh, you guys will not believe the dream I just had. Holy crap. Wait, wait, wait. wait. What, what, what the hell is this? Didn't I just do this with this guy? Get up. I admire your consistency, but, uh, God. Oh, and who is this princess? Wait, they- Get here, ah, Son of a- Shock other people. Oh, yes, I knew about that. Um, don't touch the core, Zaga. Thanks for the heads up. <sighs> Jackass. They're gonna have to do it for us. You'll cooperate, right? Because I 
figure if you don't, well, I... I can think of all sorts of things to do to your little friends. Yeah, like we're just gonna give this Gordas thing to two scumbags like you. <laughs> it's cute you think you have a choice. Two always, two halves. I'll uh, take my soon-to-be-dead janitor here. You take Miss Fancy Hat down the other one. Boys, you keep an eye on these two. Especially this one. Don't believe a thing she says. Oh, how sweet. Yeah, you sit tight. Get your hands off me! Either of those two move, you shoot them where they stand. Grace, I'll admit it, you and uh, Vaughn have impressed me. And that sort of thing doesn't happen often. I'm surprised you've made it this far. I got Hugo Vasquez, Hugo Vasquez. There's, there's something I remember about this guy. What the hell really? is it? Really? It's unbelievable. He must have had some sort of help. Couple of death jockeys like you. I got help from Handsome Jack. Oh, so we're, we're telling everyone now. Is that what we're doing? Ah, yeah. I totally get what you're saying there. I, too, have found Handsome Jack to be an eternal well of inspiration. I mean, you might think of me as a self-made man, and for the most part, you'd be right. But there was this time when I looked up and admired one man in particular. The most impressive person He's I've gonna say me. Handsome Jack. You idiots always say me. Still can't figure out who he is, though. We had this special rapport. He would do this thing where he would punch me in the face whenever he'd see me. It didn't matter if he was busy. He always made time for me. No, still nothing. I punched my mom, for Christ's sake. Just boom, right in the kisser. I was drinking from a mug when he got me one time. I hate to break it to you, Vasquez, but what... You're describing you don't get is... it. You, you don't get it. You don't. The point is, I was his punching bag. Oh, man. He thought we were exclusive. That's adorable. I miss our time together. Ah, this drives me crazy. It's right there. It's on its own. But through me, his legacy carries on. doing this what do you mean what do you get out of it I mean is it about the money revenge this is all about damage control at this point we cut my boss Valerie out of the first deal hmm. obviously that was a bad idea for a lot of reasons the fact that the vault key was bullshit being first and foremost well Valerie found out about it so now we've got to convince her that whatever comes out of this room is worth more than the 10 million dollar deal we tried to slip under her nose then, hopefully, she doesn't kill us all. She ever talk about me? What? Sasha, did she ever talk about me? You guys are sisters. I figure you'd talk every now and again. Nope, not once. Huh, that's a little disappointing. Look, I just want you to know, as far as you and I are concerned, there's no hard feelings. That is so generous of you. I'll think about that when you shoot me in the back. Come on, don't be like that. You're the one that hustled me, remember? And that, you see, is what I was trying to provide for you. Some guidance, some mentorship, a father figure. I was trying to help you. The janitor gig, it was to test your mettle, your resolve. And I gotta say, you reacted with some balls, kid. Some big old balls. You see, Reese, I started at the bottom, and I worked my way up. I, uh, <laughs> I used to be in the mailroom. Whoa, wait a minute. Wallet head! That's where Jack found me. <laughs> he used to be bald, and he was going through these hair implants, and, and, and I it would stick money Maybe to his head. Did. It was, <laughs> oh it was hilarious. Oh, but it was a long time ago. Ask him about it. He'll tell you. Ask him about it. 
<laughs> Go on, go on, seriously. But that's a pretty go. big difference. You know what I've always found so impressive about you? It's that hair of yours. I mean, so natural, so realistic. Those implants are just the best. Implants? <laughs> I... I was trying to be nice to you. <laughs> Let's get this over with. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's right. Now, when I take your corpse back to Helios, I'm gonna make sure they save me your hair before they start experimenting on you. It's always nice to have options. Get yeah. Whoa. That's legitimately creepy. I can't tell you how much I'm looking. No! Hey! Hey! I just... I just need some reassurances. That it was just about the money and nothing else. And relationships have to be built on trust. I don't know if I can take Sasha back without it. How do you even start a conversation like that? At this point, I assume she's just... We're con artists, August. It was all fake. The way you met, how you fell for each other, how the deal came together. All choreographed. You were conned. It wasn't real. So you're saying I shouldn't take her back? Hey, we all make mistakes. I've certainly made my fair share. Who am I to judge? Well, here we are. Go on. Stalling won't do you any good. Have a nice chat? <laughs> I can't imagine he's too happy with you guys. I, I, at least that's the vibe I was getting. I hate that son of a bitch. I kind of picked up on that. Gorgeous unit ready for assembly. We got it! We got it! I guess that's our cue. How is that? That is a metal ball. How's this gonna get us into a vault? 
That's the only leverage we've got at this point. Meaning? Right. You've got one bargaining chip to work with. Okay! Just grab the thing and let's go. No, 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 what are you doing?! Smooth one, idiot. No, 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 it's fine, it's fine, see? Uh-oh, didn't like that, Reese. did not like that one bit. No problem, everything is okay. Subsystems, man. I can hack into these drones and I can uh, uh, almost guarantee no one dies. Unless you want them to. Probably. Uh, just let me in. I. Vaughn! It's under control, Reese. Trust me. What? No, no. Listen, we can take over the whole facility, kid. We've got this. Whatever you're gonna do, Phil, do it. No, 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 no. You're making a huge mistake. You're saving us? You're just throwing things? No, I, I think it's supposed to explode. 